first episode in the London to Dubai 2011 trip preparation short films. My name is Alexis and today we will start introducing you to the project we have planned for the year ahead. Hi guys, I'm going to introduce to you our new adventure which is London to Dubai 2011. This follows from London to Syria 2010 which hopefully most of you or some of you might have followed. London to Dubai 2011 is in aid of uh, the UNICEF uh, appeal for uh, flood relief in Pakistan. We are going to do this challenge in October of 2011. So we have about a year of uh, events and planning and fundraising to do. We are going to need your support for this. So please get behind us and support us. Thank you. We will be riding across 13 countries, starting from England, going through France, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Turkey, Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and arriving in the United Arab Emirates. Throughout the year, we'll be doing a lot of fundraising and also raising awareness for UNICEF's Pakistan Flood Children's Appeal. And we will also be holding charity events, and we hope to see you on some of these. Thank you very much for your support. On our London to Syria 2010 trip, we rode across Europe, through Turkey and into Syria, in aid of Syrian children in need. Next year's trip will take us from London to Dubai, and will be a lot harder and longer than the last trip that we did. At first I thought about making my next trip a solo challenge because of the overlap problems between people's holiday entitlements, but then I soon realized that it would be good to have a second person on board. What's your name? John Blackman. And how old are you? I, I'm 48 years of age, even though you wouldn't have thought so. What's your riding experience? Riding experience? Where have I been? Mm. Uh, I've been riding for approximately 30 years, uh, mainly road riding. A little bit of off-road riding, but not much to talk about. Um, ridden across Europe, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, what kind of motorcycle do you have? I've got a Kawasaki, a black uh, ZZR. Have you always been into sports tours? Yes, I like sports tours, um, although I'm beginning to get a hankering after a, something like a, a BMW GS or some off-road, road, road mm. dual-purpose motorcycle. Going down the trial route is something that uh, I've started to influence him. Yes. What are your expectations of riding through Europe, especially Eastern Europe? Oh, Eastern Europe. Pleasant company, clear roads, lovely weather and uh, great food, basically, especially hoping for good company. Uh, and your expectations of, of riding through countries like Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, possibly uh, all the way to Dubai? Yeah, meeting uh, different cultures, especially, I'm looking forward to that. Um, taking home some lifelong memories, good memories of the trip, I'm really hoping for that as well as the usual everyday things like uh, good weather, uh, pleasant roads, safe riding. But you yourself have ridden in Australia as well, so you know what it's like to ride in hot temperatures yeah, as hot, well. Yeah, hot temperatures are one thing, but they're all tarmac roads. Mm -hmm. um, I know they're all pretty much tarmac in Syria, mm. um, but it's not a desert setting, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's still, you know, Greenland. You've told me that you've done some activities for children charities in the past. What yes. were these activities? Well, well as Balloonatic the Clown, um, I've done uh, balloon modelling, raised mm. money for uh, various charities um, over the years, um, making different animal creations, hats, flowers, uh, basically what anyone wants. They pass by and, uh, yeah. and um, it's usually on a high street somewhere. Could be anywhere in London. Um, anywhere where you'd find large amounts of people on a high street, usually. Very good. And you say you're also planning to bring your own involvement yeah, into the charity yeah, yeah. aspect of the trip? Yeah, I'm going to bring some balloons, I'm going to bring uh, an outfit, mm. so that when we meet the uh, UNICEF people, mm -hmm. I can um, give them a little show. Yeah. Uh, because, really, when you go up and make a creation, make something with a balloon, you don't need to speak the language. Yeah. The balloons speak for themselves and yeah. it'll cheer people up. Very good. Make them happy. Very good. Thank you. At present, we're planning to ride across Europe, through Turkey, and into Syria and Jordan, crossing the Saudi Arabian desert in five days, passing through Qatar, re-entering Saudi Arabia, and then arriving in the United Arab Emirates, and riding up to Dubai, which will be our final destination point. 
Over the coming year, we'll keep you up to date on how the project develops through the help of these trip preparation short films and ride to various locations to test new photography equipment and filming techniques. As we are aiming to ride through countries with arid and desert terrain like Turkey, Syria, Jordan and Saudi Arabia, there will be some opportunities for me to do some off-roading. So I've come here to an enduro race to get some inspiration from the experts. The trip itself will be on-road, but that does not mean that I cannot make occasional off-road excursions. I am accompanied by my dear friends Seb from Precious Memories Photography and my friend Jamal. The question remains as to which tires to take on the journey. The tires I had on my last trip to the Middle East were more road orientated but retained some off-road capability. For increased off-road performance, I may actually use my more off-road orientated tires while passing through countries with desert terrain. Not quite sure what to expect, so it's better to practice those off-roading skills. Without a doubt, we will face many obstacles along this trip and its preparation but it's all about developing techniques to overcome them. One of the many challenges along the way. The problem that we're having at the moment is that there are these routes in the middle of the byway which are causing obstruction and I can't get over them. So with collecting twigs and sticks we can hopefully create a ramp to overcome this challenge. So now that we've built this ramp, let's see how we get on. I'm supposed to meet Anwar at 6.30 to discuss some new things about our charity project. And the time now is 5.15, so no time to waste. Well, that bridge building exercise was only a partial success, but a good practice. And so we decided to take the easier route which we could have taken in the first place. <laughs> but it's good practice.